queen she was in 1952. First up, Claire gets a crash course in floor laying. Got a very steady hand for this job. I should have been out in the sauce last night. <laughs> oh, that's almost yeah, professional. That's it. <laughs> then there's a few dozen windows to put in. Each with its own authentically squeaky 1950s winding mechanism. Yeah. Go on, give it a whiz. Yeah? Okay. I'll oh, hang on to it. Right, mate. Perfect. Hello, Jerry. Oh, excellent. Happy with that, mate? Yeah, it's grand. But the best yeah, bit are her rather ingenious seats. This is looking good. Isn't it? <sighs> Take a seat, my dear. But this, is, this is it, isn't it? If you yeah. ask someone, they never talk about the motors or the control system or anything. They always talk about the seats that tip backwards and forwards That's and right. the cladding and all the rest of it. Shall we have a go? Yeah. Let's change direction of travel. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. I like this. Bing, bing. <laughs> Those, please. Tickets, please. <laughs> oh, come on, then. More seats. Well, I've got 22 to go. Well, get on with it. All right. Beginning to look good inside, Axel can finally start to paint her outside in the classic cream and green livery. <laughs> After nearly six months' work, the tram is almost finished and the squad are walking into the sheds for some last-minute tarting on the morning of her inaugural run. And as the electricity sparks her into life, we can see what a brilliant job everyone's done. For all that the control unit was a bit too complicated for its own good, this really is a tram to be proud of. A true queen of the rails. But the big question is, what's Philip going to think of her? So it's the big moment, Phil. Wow, what a transformation. You haven't seen it for a while, eh? No. And hopefully you're going to drive it now. Let me at it. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, what a fabulous job. It looks absolutely superb. You it like really it, does. Then? Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. good, mate? I might keep it. You can keep your thieving hands off. <laughs> can I have a look inside? Come on. Wow, it looks superb. <laughs> it's all come together. You happy? I've yeah. never seen it like that. You've even got the original red flooring. That's great. That's super. Beautiful, guys. You've done a great job. <laughs> it's like a ballroom, isn't it? I feel like dancing. Anyone want to dance? I mean, it's large enough, isn't it? What you need now is a show for someone to drive it, yeah? Well, the tram's finished, and in a few minutes we're going to get going. But I've noticed that Phil is wearing a very smart tram driver's uniform, so I think I'd better smarten myself up. Take me to my tram. And whilst I was getting changed, Philip was getting some last-minute instruction from 83-year-old tram driver Jack Nichols. One of the few people alive who actually drove one of these beauties back in their heyday. Now, back to the joystick. Mm -hmm. You don't really need to push it straight down. Uh, you, you can just feed it one notch and just sort of listen, and you can just feel the car gradually moving off. Right. It doesn't sort of jerk off um, like some of the old cars do, you know. Any questions? No, I think they'll do. The next question is, when can I have a go? After me. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's on board. I'm suitably attired. Let's go. With a Blackpool Transport driving instructor in the cab for safety, a very nervous-looking Philip pushes the lever forward for the first time. And yes, we're off. <laughs> Looks like all the stuff works. Yeah. Shush, shush, don't tip <laughs> <laughs> It's smooth. It's smooth. I can't believe it's working. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment we've all been working towards, and the weather, miraculously, couldn't be better. 
just got to change the points or we're going into the sea. Insert like so and... At the end of the line, Claire gets to spin the pole, enabling the tram to head back the other way. And as we head back down the prom, Philip is in his element. This is absolutely fabulous. I never thought I would actually uh, drive this tram up and down Blackpool Promenade, never. This is really good. It was a huge project to tackle, but loads of people put a huge amount of effort in. It's all paying off. We've got a beautiful sunny day, trundling up and down the seafront. It's not a bad life. I think I could be tempted to trade in my train set for something bigger, like a tram. Great! Even though it's January and the temperature's not much above zero, the tram spotters are out in force to witness this historic occasion. Well, there's me thinking, hundreds of people turn up, they're all taking photos. It's not me, it's the tram. They're all tram spotters. But there's one fan above all that we're keen to show her off to. Daphne Luff, whose father ran the trams here from 1932 to 53 and was responsible for introducing our coronation tram. Yeah, and hopefully, she's at this stop. Daphne! Oh, hello. I thought I'd get on this one. It looks the best. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it gorgeous? How does it feel to oh, see it? Oh, yes, it's wonderful. Oh, I'm sure my father will be thrilled to pieces to see it now. After all these years, 50 years, it's a long time. But it really looks good. Yeah, you're pleased with it. Coming along the promenade, you know, watching it come along, it is wonderful. In the sunshine, isn't it oh, beautiful? Oh, yes, it is absolutely marvellous. Oh, I'm thrilled to pieces with it, yes. <laughs> looks very good indeed. He'd have been thrilled to bits. Her control unit may have been a disaster, but this beautiful folly and the man behind it, Walter Luff, can take credit for the part they played in making sure the trams of Blackpool are still running today. And for that alone, she was well worth restoring. We've now got a working tram. Um, only a few months ago when, uh, when the tram left St. Helens, we had what was basically, um, not a, I suppose, a, a rotting carcass, I think someone described it as. You know, to actually get the tram mobile, to get it back to its native habitat, um, running up and down, that, this is superb. With Philip getting into his stride, it was time to give the spotters a treat. A ride on the only fully working coronation tram in the world. Visit the website channel4.com slash science to find out more about tonight's challenge. Next tonight, it's a new series. Air Crash examines the unbelievable experiences of six survivors from six different aeroplane disasters.